Hi, I'm Dr. Donald Brown, and I'd like to talk to you about breast augmentation. Breast augmentation is one of the more common procedures we do in plastic surgery. But before I do that, I'd like to define a very important term, and that is ptosis. Ptosis is defined as a situation in which the breast nipple lies below the inframammary crease. The inframammary crease is that line which is formed where the breast meets the chest wall. Now the reason this is important is that if you, if you augment a totic breast, you will end up with a very unesthetic appealing breast. This can be best corrected by a mastopexy or breast lift, which will be the subject of a different video. We can either use a saline implant or a silicone implant, and there are pluses and minuses to both of these that are best discussed with your plastic surgeon. Probably the most important thing to talk about is size of implant. What I have found to be a very effective way to determine this is to have the patient wear a bra of the size they'd like to be. We then insert various size implants to determine what size is going to work best for her. These implants are placed beneath the breast utilizing a number of different incisions. We can make an incision under the arm in the axilla. We can make an incision around the nipple. We can make an incision beneath the breast and finally, we can make an incision through the umbilicus. Another point to be covered is the placement of the implant either above the muscle or below the muscle. The muscle we're talking about is the pectoralis major muscle. You can feel this on yourself by putting your hand in your hip and pressing down. That muscle that you feel contracting is the pectoralis major. If we elect to place the implant above the muscle, we do this usually to try to get more of a lift. In a woman that has very small breasts and we want to use a relatively large implant, we tend to put them under the muscle. The reason for this is that the more material you have on top of the implant, the less likely you are to see and feel it. These procedures can be done either under general anesthesia or under local anesthesia. The recovery time varies from around five to seven days.